everyone, I am so excited for today's plan with me, and if you've been following me for a while, then you automatically know why I am using this All Loop kit. Um, it is her New York City kit, obviously. This is the package that I came in, um, and I just want to show you guys the packaging, but um, I am so excited, guys. Like, I, when I saw she was going to be coming out with this kit, like, I honestly probably would have bought the vertical planner just to be able to use this kit. I mean, I could do it in the horizontal, but it won't be the same, you know? So I'm really glad that, you know, ultimately I decided on the vertical um, for this next year instead of my EC horizontal. So these are the stickers. I just kind of flipped through them really, really quickly. Um, I am so excited. I've never planned with one of her kits, and I am going to be in New York starting the weekend before I'm really loving vertical planning. <laughs> like, it's been great. So I don't even know where to start. Um, I don't know if I want to use these ombre uh, checklists because I'm honestly a little bit worried about pens showing up on them because they are very, very dark. They're so saturated. She uses vinyl, but it's like the thinnest vinyl out of um, the couple shops that I've bought in vinyl stickers from. I looked up um, how she did it and I think I'm going to just put this one in the middle because these two buildings are kind of of similar styles and that's kind of what they did. And then these bridges have to stay together because I think it's going to look really cool in the happy planner because there's no white space in between each day. Um, but let's, I guess I might as well use the full boxes instead of using these checklists because actually I'm not a huge fan of these checklists. Of the, It's a cute idea, but I don't think... <laughs> that I like that. Before we actually get started with this kit, I did want to show you guys. If you've watched my other plan with me's, um, my process is I go through my functional collection and just pull in a bunch of things that I think I might need in the week. So I have a bunch of like sidebar stickers and I'll get into those after I've laid down the basis of this kit. I typically like to get a little bit creative, but a lot of these kits are designed for a similar like way of planning because almost everybody plans in a very very similar way so it's kind of a little bit harder to kind of put your own distinct style into it I think but um yeah so typically if I'm in school I like to have all my meetings and kind of like places to be on the top um and then my checklist in the um in the middle but since I am not in school, I am just going to go with the flow. So I want this to be a kind of talkative plan with me because I actually did one of these kind of just updating you guys on my life um, plan with me. And then for somehow the footage was corrupted and unable to be recognized by my computer. I've tried both my Mac and my PC and it just was not working. And so I gave up <laughs> as much as I... I really tried everything. I tried uploading it on YouTube. Um, like, I uploaded it to Google Drive directly from my phone so I didn't have to, like, transfer it. And then I uploaded it to YouTube. Like, I couldn't edit it because my, my like, editing software wouldn't recognize it either. And then so I uploaded it to YouTube um, because I thought I could edit on YouTube. But it's not really, like, a good editor, obviously. And I couldn't really figure out how to do that. So... Um, kind of sad because I was like a, one of my favorite. Oh, she gives you eight to do, so that's kind of cool. That was one of my favorite plan with me, just because I got to talk to you guys and kind of give you guys an update. So I guess I can do that now. In that video, I talked a little bit about my college life. Um, because I was still in college back then. That was back in May. Um, and so if you don't know, I know a lot of you are very new to my channel because I've gained a lot of new subscribers after my happy planner video, which is really really amazing so thank you guys um for subscribing and if you didn't know i actually originally started youtube as a kind of like beauty what we called beauty gurus back in the day i don't know if that's still the term um but yeah so i no longer am really that interested in doing those kind of videos but um my old videos are all still up anyway um i still really do enjoy hauls but i as you guys know um I am now very, very passionate about this newfound sticker and planning business. Oh, by the way, obviously I didn't really address this, but I am using a happy planner and I just make the kits work. Like I've never really had an issue, but I forgot that her kit doesn't come with bottom washi. Shoot, because typically I like to put bottom washi down here and it just evens out the playing field, but I might have to improvise with this. Um, we'll see. Anyway. 
Um, so yeah, so I don't tend to, I still like makeup, but I don't really buy a lot of makeup. I have just what I need and I'm perfectly content with that. Um, so I'm at a, at a good place right now and I just am interested in planning, um, and getting my life together and it's just a very relaxing time for me. Like, I don't know, especially during the year. Guys, these stickers are so saturated. It's freaking amazing. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so in my original plan with me, I talked about college and kind of, I was hoping to vlog a little bit more, but that didn't end up happening because, um, I don't know, just being in college, like, things are, like, are fun, but not really, like, vlog-worthy, you know? You know what I mean? If you vlogged before, you probably know, because, like, some things are, like, yes, you have a lot of fun doing them, but it's not really that fun to watch. I don't know. Most of the time, you're just hanging out with friends, you know? So, um, that's why I also just, like, I don't know, like, vlogging isn't always the first thing on my mind. Like, when I'm in New York City, I want to vlog, but, like, when I'm in school, it's just... So I don't think I'm going to really vlog that much during the school year. Um, next semester is going to be a really, really busy one. Um, I'm going to start uh, being an RA, and then I'm going to be in, like, two brand new programs that I applied for and got in this past semester. So I was mentioning in my previous plan with me that this semester has been a really good semester, and particularly February was a really good month for me, um, which is great because it's also my birthday month. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's been a great semester. I'm at a point where I'm just genuinely really, really happy, um, with everything in life. Uh, so, like, I'm not just saying that, like, I've been talking to friends and I'm just like, I don't think I've ever felt like this, um, kind of reached the state of contentment before. So I'm just really, really, really happy, which is really great, um, and, I'm just living life one day at a time, not really stressing out too much. I mean, I do I do still stress about things, even though it's the middle of summer. Um, I think it's normal to have those days, but overall, my, my state of well-being is pretty high right now. Um, I am working in the month of July, but this current week right now is my last, going to be my last week of work. So that's the sheet. I think I'm done with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started on the full boxes. Do I want to use the odd loop headers? Because I know she has one on every single page. She also has blank headers, but I don't know. Should I just use odd loop? Wait, but that's kind of weird to put odd loop. I'll put odd loop underneath these, I think. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lay these down. Um, so yeah, so what was I saying? <laughs> um... I have just been in a really good place this summer, um, even though I wasn't able to get an internship. That's also what I was kind of stressing out about in my previous plan with me. I just didn't know what I was doing for the summer, um, which was really, really stressful because, you know, I just wanted to, to know and it was just such a pain just like waiting. So I think I'm going to put blank headers. Uh, after the checklist just to give it a little bit of a break um so i have four of these ones so i need to pull in three other ones uh yeah so i was waiting for a while to hear back from places about internship offers um but i wasn't able to uh it was one of those situations where i had to turn down one offer before i even heard back from another offer and one was more desirable um, so I decided to wait and I didn't end up getting it. So I, um, so I obviously didn't end up with an internship for the summer, which I am, um, which I was and am still disappointed about, but I think things really turn out for the better. I am working, um, making some extra money, which is always nice to have. And just, I think it's, it's good. Like I still, even though I don't have an internship, I still feel very fulfilled every day. Um, I don't feel like, because I'm the type of person who always likes to be doing things. I can't just not do things. Like during the school year, I'm always crazy busy because that's kind of like what I thrive on. So, um, so I was really afraid that being not working, not in an internship this summer will kind of make me feel like that. And I'm sorry if it just got really dark because the sun just went away. But it, it hasn't, and I'm really glad that it hasn't, and I'm just, like, really happy with how the summer turned out. Um, 
so yeah, so that's kind of, um, kind of what's been up with that. I am spending two weeks in New York City before I come back. I actually start, um, training for being an RA about two weeks before school starts. So I, my summer vacation is shortened, um, uh, by like two weeks because RA training is, it's going to be really, really crazy. And I, I can predict the amount of stress that I will be in, but I'm trying to not worry about that too much at this point, at least. And just, because I still have a couple weeks before we get to that. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what's up with the rest of my summer. I'm really excited to be going to New York again because it's like my favorite place in the entire universe. Um, and yeah, so that's how my summer's been. I hope you guys are all having good summers. Um, I don't know what the majority of my viewers, viewers are really. So I don't know. Let me know if you're still in school or what um these stickers are actually surprisingly removable like i'm sure that they're not advertised as being removable but they are pretty easy to peel up as you guys have been seeing me do so i am actually working at a camp for kids this summer which i did last summer as well um and it's just it's a good time for the most part kids are just <laughs> very interesting and intriguing um sometimes irritating but for the most part <laughs> I do like kids a lot I do I am not the most patient person but I think like I have a personality that I just get along with kids and kids like me or <laughs> I like to think that they do um and I I do have an older group of kids so our camp is for ages uh 6 to 12 and I do have the oldest age group so that helps a little bit um but yeah. So camp is like a pretty long day. Actually, I work from eight to basically five. So that's like, what, nine hours a day? Yeah, almost. Um, so it gets really tiring sometimes and it's been taking a toll on my, and my, it's been affecting my gym schedule because before I started work, I walked to the gym every day, which is a little bit farther than where I, my work is kind of in between where the gym and my house is. Um, so I walked the farthest way to the gym every single day before work started. But after I started work, I just, I get so tired, um, that it's just really hard for me to make it to work. I mean, to gym, but I let myself go a little bit because sometimes it's okay. You know, I walk a lot every day to get to work in this heat so I mean I like to think of it as cardio and I've actually been losing weight sorry I got a call so as I was saying um I've actually been losing weight which is really hard for me to do like I've been lifting for an entire semester and I just kind of maintain the same weight really um which I see as I don't really do cardio normally during the year um and I just lift so I think that's just you know, pretty standard and I'm not really too hung up on it, but I've noticed I've actually started to lose, not dramatically, just a couple pounds. And I think it's from all the walking, which is great, a great bonus. Um, and I'll be in New York next week. So that's even greater because you guys know how much I love to walk in New York. It's kind of what's been happening in my life. I think that's everything I basically touched on in my previous plan with me. Um, I probably should have watched that before I started filming this so I know what to tell you guys. Um, but yeah, so I, I like doing plan with me's like this, where I can like kind of not really just tell you guys what I'm doing, but actually tell you guys what's happening, um, once in a while so that you guys, you know, stay connected to my life and all that stuff. Cause that's what I used to do on YouTube. Um, but yeah, how gorgeous is this kit? I am absolutely in love. So I think I'm going to do all loop stickers. I know a lot of people don't use these headers, but I think that's kind of a cute way of doing like little things, you know? That's basically everything that's been going on. I'm kind of out of things to update you guys on. Um, if you guys would like to see any other types of videos on this channel, let me know. Um, I do have a little bit more time now that it's summer, but again, I can't make any promises. If you've been subscribed to me, you know that like my videos tend to just kind of stop once school starts just because there's a lot of things going on. Um, so I think I can, the least I can do is commit to doing a plan with me, um, Maybe not weekly, but 
I do plan every week, so I might as well just film it. It's not really much additional work, if you know what I mean. Um, it's just the editing, but it's pretty straightforward for kind of plan with me videos. So that shouldn't really be a problem. Actually, no, I want this for the, for up here. Actually, do I? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, I typically don't like to cover up the month at a glance because I actually really like that function. I think it's super functional. So I'm actually just going to, I think this is the same width. Yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and place this New York City sticker in the sidebar. I completely forgot about the sidebar actually. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the food down first. I typically track lunches and dinners um, and so that's why I usually don't like the little things labels because they are often just enough for like one meal and I like to kind of keep track of what I'm eating both meals but um, I think these are wide enough for me to write it in and I'll probably be going out to eat so I think I might make those like separate um, separate sections so I think maybe I'll leave the bottom section empty and I'm actually really sorry I'm so scatterbrained but I really like this rainbow at the bottom even though it kind of clashes but I think it just like is really fun but um I was saying that I think I'm gonna leave this bottom section just empty because I'm gonna be exploring a lot so I think I'm gonna use this section to kind of journal down kind of what I'm doing each day um, except for the fact that this trip might be my least uh, of interest trip because I am planning on getting a lot of work done during it but that's always I feel like that's what I always plan on doing but I always end up doing other things so we'll see how that goes I do have a bill due twice this week. I'm just going to put down these stickers whenever. Just so I know there's a bill coming up, really. Because I won't always do it right away. I procrastinate a lot on my plans. Um, so I like to give myself ample time to like forget about it. And then remember a couple days later and still not be late. So oh, they have mail stickers. Perfect. I pulled in all these like outside little things because I didn't really look over this kit, but they have a mailbox sticker, which is perfect because I am anticipating getting a package sometime this week, probably later this week towards Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down there. Um, also, I'm just loving how well her stickers like place. They're just so smooth. I'll use this as my to call and I'll write call mom on it. So I think I'll do that on Friday. Um, so I've been trying to make it a habit kind of to put it in to remember to call her. Hey, weekend banner. Oh my God. I forgot the weekend banner. <laughs> Guys, I kind of want to put it up here, but like there's no room now. Shoot. What do I do? Um, okay. This is such a cute weekend banner. It's freaking a banner on a helicopter. Like, how genius is that? I just, oh, this kit is so gorgeous. Um, okay. So it's gonna, I'm gonna cover up the last heart here because I don't anticipate having that many to-dos anyway. Wow, that looks so good. Guys, I'm so happy with this this week. Um, okay. So I was saying that I don't know how I want to mark my steps. I might just use that for my steps because I was thinking about using these labels, but I think that's a little extravagant and these headers are the perfect, um, yeah, I think I'm going to use that instead of the sidebar just because I don't know. And I also have these, uh, Apple watch stickers, which would be great for tracking my steps because, um, that's what I use to track my steps. So. Let's go ahead and put these. I'm going to put that on the very bottom of each day. So I'm going to use one of her checklists. And I think I'm just going to use the heart because I'm not really a big fan of the other ones. Um, and this is going to be my grocery list because I want to stop um, by the grocery store the first, first thing I get there so that I can have food to eat. Um, I think I should use a piggy bank to remind myself to save money. But like, I don't even know where I would put this. It's weird to just use it as a deco, isn't it? Actually, I'm going to put it up here because, like, I need the reminder. I typically don't do this, but I think I'm going to put a half box on every single day. Because I'm in New York, you know? There has to be at least one fun thing I'm doing a day, right? <laughs> um, I usually have pretty fun adventures when I go there, but watch this be the one week that, like, nothing happens. I think that looks great. I love that. I just... Oh. Her print quality is amazing. Everything is just so saturated and just so bright. Um, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna do orange. Orange and purple. We'll do that. Yeah, it kind of goes. I think that's about as much as I can do. I do have these workout stickers um, for lifting, but I honestly, it's too far in advance for me to plan out what day is which. Spending, yes. Oh my God, I need to track spending. With. Okay, there we go. I really like that actually. You wanna do some editing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say editing on Wednesday. So guys, I think that is it. Um, I am so happy with how this turned out. I just, oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. Let me zoom you guys back out. Right, like the spread is so gorgeous. I am just so happy looking at this. Oh, washi on here, sorry, last thing. I promise this is the last thing. Um, we're gonna place this right underneath here. It's literally the perfect width. And now we are officially done with this plan with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm this is the final spread. Oh my God, guys, I am absolutely in love. I don't think I've ever been this in love with a spread. I probably said that before, but this is just absolutely stunning and I just, oh my god, I'm so happy with it. And I love the pop of rainbow at the bottom. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Um, let me know if you guys have any requests for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.